boys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Haven and this is a channel dedicated to War Thunder content. So the F2 is remarkable in that it carries the 15 millimeter guns, the 151s, um, which is just a fantastic, like in the current meta and the current build, the current whatever you want to call it, as of, you know, uh, September, October of 2024, the 15 millimeters are in a fantastic place. They have been a fa in a fantastic place for a while. So the F2s and the F4 variants of the 109s really have great guns right now. If you haven't been checking that out, go check that out. And today I'm going to show you uh, just a quick game I had in it uh, where it was a six kill clutch game. Uh, and what was really remarkable about this, about this game is in a random lobby, I just found a guy that he knew what he was doing. Theoretically, I knew what I was doing and we just took the enemy apart piece by piece and it was really fun and that's why I want to I want to share this uh, video today so buckle up here we go let's get on let's get in the air and let's take a look all right we're in the game I have been climbing it around usually for 109s I start at 20 degrees I just keep an eye on my heat and I keep an eye on my speed and I try and climb around 260 indicated that seems to do well if you really get into the weeds about climb rate you can do some theory crafting. I've never found it to be all that necessary. Just climb. Just make sure you are climbing as aggressively as you can while still keeping some amount of speed. And uh, here we go. So I'm starting to level out here. A quick assessment of the situation shows a whirlwind way up top. We are trying not to be his target. I'm watching him to see who he's going to dive on. And we also have some YP-38s. This was during the sale in front of us. So we're watching the whirlwind, and then we need to make a decision on which uh, P-38 we're going to engage. I initially want to go for this Arsenex, but he has boomed in zoom, so I just want to get some hits in, and then follow that up with uh, trying to get him. But he is exiting the area rapidly. I'm not going to really be able to get some shots, and I don't want to waste my energy advantage or altitude chasing him. I take a look around, make sure that that whirlwind has not decided to that I'm next and that I'm going to drop it. He's going to drop in on me next. So um, come around on him, seeing if he has dropped his altitude, see if he is engageable. Uh, and when I do that, I notice the P-39 Ian uh, following up behind him. So at this point, I'm not able to catch the whirlwind. I'm hoping that that uh, 109 over there is going to stay with me, stay up here. And my focus now is actually on the P-39N. That's a very dangerous opponent at this BR, and he seems to have a slight altitude advantage on me, so I'm trying to get my speed up. It does appear that I am the target. He's going to make a pass on me, so I get diving as, as well as on the Whirlwind. I got to dodge both of them. Dodge the Whirlwind, dodge the P-39. Try and take them into the vertical where the 109 is going to do best. Really trying to create some space here. I want them to try to have to climb back up to me. They have the energy advantage right now, so I'm trying to reduce that energy gap by getting altitude and making it so that they will have to climb back up to me. I might have overdone it a little bit, but I'm pretty happy. I now have some space and some distance to start speeding back up as he is coming back around. Some quick shots. Really should have had him there as he was not committed to the to the head-on, but I just uh, left him too high. So again, we go back up. We want to make sure that if in the event of a re-engagement that he is losing energy and he must climb to me. And at this point, I see my friendly 109 running into maybe a little bit of trouble with the uh, P-38. This guy's just made a 180. He's not going to catch me, so I decide to come over here and help him out. And while I'm heading that direction, I see a basically a stalled out B-239. Uh, you got to knock these guys out of the... If they give you an opportunity like that, you definitely take them out of the match. That's a very dangerous opponent. And then we try and come around on the P-38. But essentially, we are just staying straight, banking our energy back into altitude, and heading back up. Again, sort of looking behind me, evaluating who's chasing, who's coming after me while I continue to gain uh, altitude. We are at now at uh, about 5,500 meters, uh, which is great for me, bad for them. So I notice now they're making another pass on my friendly 109, and I want to keep him in the match because we are the only two at this altitude. He 
deals uh, very well with the P-39, makes the P-39 overshoot. So at this point, I try and redeem myself and knock him out of the match uh, this time so that he can't come after my, me, myself, for the 109. Take a quick peek behind me. Notice we have, I've got a couple folks coming in on me, uh, but I am extending away. They are not able to catch me. So they shift their attention to my friendly 109. And since he covered me, I'm gonna come around and I'm gonna try and cover him. He causes the Typhoon to overshoot. So he's in the clear of the Typhoon, but the P-36 is in a great spot to shoot him down. So I switch to the P-36. Again, those 15 millimeters are just fantastic uh, rounds, fantastic guns, and my friendly 109 has handled the uh, Typhoon all on his own. So we go back up, we continue to extend, we grab more altitude, turn that energy back into altitude. Looking behind me, I see the YP-38 uh, closing the distance quite quickly for me, so I decide it is now time for us to knock him out of the match. Uh, the P-39N finally dies, so now I've got three kills. What we're doing is we're making him get fast. I want him to compress. I'm getting my speed so I can dodge. He doesn't quite take the bait. He sort of extends out. I'm thinking I have enough speed to make this shot, so I pull around, and he comes over the top. And I just, those 15 millimeter allow me to make a really nice shot. If he had just stayed extending away, he would not have, uh, he had gotten away free and clear. But because he was completing a loop over the top of me, I was able to catch him. He's quite salty in the chat. I can't help it. Um, you know, don't, uh, don't make a mistake. <laughs> don't make that mistake. I don't know. I don't know what to tell you, dude. Don't play energy with a 109, right? I mean, I, I, I got fast. I was dodging. I had plenty of speed to complete the loop and to go up there and catch you. Um, you just flew into it, dude. So after a quick breather, I am running low on cannon rounds and turn around and see the C202. I'm up here with my 109. This 109 is the guy I'm talking about. He's just a fantastic player. We have been playing off each other this whole time to get these kills, just dodging and setting one another up. So I figure at this point, I'm going to set this C202 for him. I try and get him in a stall, see if the C202 will follow me up. He doesn't really follow me, so I decide I'm going to drop back on the top of him. It, I don't really know what he's doing. I try and make some long-range shots because uh, I was feeling really good about my aim, but I ended up just burning my cannon shots without really getting a definitive kill. If I had just waited another, you know, two, three hundred meters, I could have killed him right there. Now I'm down to the little MG rounds, but I'm, I'm happy to let my friendly 109 take his pass. Hopefully he can get the kill here. Seems like he's also having trouble securing this kill. I think we're both down to MG rounds. But it does give me an opportunity to make another pass. And this is just shows why the 15 millimeter rounds are so much better than the MG rounds. The MG rounds just tickle him to death. Um, so I go back up again, let my friendly 109 take his pass. Um, but I do have that guy severe. And when he comes back and finishes him off, I get my ace. So now I have an ace and no cannon rounds, so I let my uh, guy know, I'm like, I need ammo, like I'm not going to mess around with these EMGs. We both obviously are struggling to kill stuff, so let's go back and get some ammo. So I turn it around, as much as I want to get that hurricane, I turn it around and we land for some more ammo. We did end up going to the near airfield uh, after a little bit of discussion. I felt like I could turn it around and get took off before they would catch us. We both end up landing, I'm repaired, I'm coming back out. I uh, buzz him, just as a little friendly tower buzz here. Um, but I do know there's that hurricane still out there, as well as the whirlwind. Um, and he's been the one I've been trying to keep my eye on to see if we can get repaired in time. He's that high contrail way up there. Um, and he makes really good speed coming over to us. And I, I let my teammate know, I'm like, basically that guy right there is the best player on their team. He's going to give us some trouble as we try and claw some altitude up after being on that runway. So what I'm trying to do here is protect my teammate on the runway. He is extremely vulnerable right now. 
So I am trying to hit kind of a 90 degree angle. I'm going to try and get some speed. I'm not necessarily needing altitude yet, but I am needing speed. I can see if I had just left uh, my teammate here, he's very vulnerable. The whirlwind sees that. So I'm going to go ahead and turn around and try and cover my guy. You can see here he's, he's making an attack run. Luckily, I have just enough speed to scare him off. Um, I think if he had just continued that attack run, he I probably would have missed and he might have got my teammate. So that's a lucky, lucky break there that he decided to break off. Because now we can just turn our speed into altitude, try and equalize energy states and turn this into a, T, a 2v1 versus sort of a, him having us at mercy. Um, he probably played it, that Whirlwind's probably playing it a little too passive. It's my turn to get boomed in Zoom, so... Between the two of us, we're trying to stay fast and climb shit. Like, don't just set it at a 20 degree angle here. If you're going to be dodging, you need some speed. So, I'm kind of keeping it at 10 degrees, maybe 15 if he's far away, but... I'm trying to stay close enough that I can cover him while being fast enough to cover him, so... Again, he makes another pass. My turn, another kind of head-on opportunity. I didn't get any hits there, actually. And my teammate got all the hits in his reversal. And uh, the whirlwind basically just decides he's had enough. And he jays out, giving my buddy a kill, which I'm happy with. It was, uh, it was a struggle, but... I think we just frustrated him. I, I've flown those whirlwinds. They do not have great nose authority. I don't blame them at all. So jumping ahead just a little bit here, we are trying to find the last two guys uh, before they end the match on tickets. I pop an order. We find the SB2C pounding ground units. So I kind of need to play it aggressively here. I'm not waiting. I'm not going to get over the top of him. I'm trying to get to him as soon as possible. Our tickets are dropping rapidly. The only thing I'm not going to do is take a head on with this guy, but I am going to put all of my altitude into speed right here. We need to get this guy from winning this match in tickets alone. So I'm pretty hyper-focused here. I know I got my other friendly 109 close. Hopefully he's covering me. Trying to make good distance shots here. I do manage to get a fire right when he opens up with his rear gunner. I don't want none of that. I get him severe and with the fire. And when I turn left, I notice the hurricane barreling at me. I probably over dodge right here. Uh, he was not that close, but I was expecting him to be much faster. So I have to continue to dodge. And this guy's just super slow. And I don't really understand why he was super slow. Because I was, uh, I guess I was coming in fast in hurricanes, frankly. That's why I don't like them, is they're just so slow. So. Even with all that preemptive dodging, I still got him at a disadvantage here. And he's the last guy. Tickets are low. Dumping it all into him because I don't need it. He's the last guy. And that's it. That's the match. That's seven kills. It was a lot of fun. We saved the match right at the end. Look at the tickets. And man, that was just a fantastically fun time with a, a random teammate. And if you're watching this dude, I really appreciate it. I had a lot of fun. Um, we cleaned that team up. Excellent job. And if you're still here and you're still listening, go ahead and make sure you hit that like subscribe button. If you're uh, if you're already subscribed, I don't know, share it with a buddy. Uh, thanks a lot. Thanks for joining me. We'll catch you in the next one.